boingy, 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 boingy. What's up, everybody? It's Monkey Farm. We are down in the base underground in Hermitcraft Amplified. And once again, we are doing some work down here. Let me tell you, I have, um, I've gotten a lot of digging done and a lot of placing blocks as well. <laughs> um, that's pretty much the whole game, right? Breaking blocks and putting them back down somewhere. I have dug out a ton of area back here for the cow and sheep farm. And we're not doing a pig farm, of course, because we'd have to kill a bunch of bilbos, and we're not going to kill a bunch of bilbos. That's just how it works. In fact, I, uh, I accidentally killed some bilbos trying to bring them back to the base from way over there because they kept falling as they were following me and getting injured, and they just died. So, you know, that was before I had any leads on me way long time ago. But uh, let me show you what's going on back here. I've got a little ceiling thing going with some dark oak. Got a little lava wall drippy thing going back here just for some decorations. Uh, we have two little areas dug out for sheep and cows back here. Uh, I think we're going to get ready to build some farms. Uh, hopefully, uh, well, yeah, I guess we'll do some of that today. But I uh, also want to finish up some of the building. Uh, let me show you what else I've done. I have finally dug out some of the area for the new enchanting potion brewing smelting area. So that is a, uh, a big combo. We're going to have the enchanting room back here. Uh, we're going to have the... We're going to bring our smelting furnace, our big multi-furnace thingy over here. We're going to have a potions area, I guess, right there. Uh, what else have we done? Have we done anything else? You know what? But this thing is really becoming an eyesore, this mm -hmm. minecart thing, whatever whatever you want to call this thing, the minecart ride. Um, I'm really thinking of once I, once I finally finish all of this, uh, I'm going to probably put in a minecart elevator just because it can be very... Uh, pleasant to look at because you can use glass. Well, uh, you'll see if I build it. Um, you can use glass to hold in the minecarts, so uh, it's it's almost as though it's a single block uh, or two block kind of area aside from the little glass rings. Uh, so it always looks good. That's how I did it in my tutorial with the glass. Um, but all this other stuff is starting to look pretty good. Nobody squeaks like that around here. No squeaking allowed. Do I have a sign on me? I'm going to put a sign up. No squeaking allowed. Not in my town. Uh, where did I put all my enchanting stuff? We need to put this stuff back. Uh, I want to do some lava stuff back here, too. But I don't know if it's going to catch on fire. Wait, this is not... How could I have silk touch? So we can break bookshelves. Awesome. We want to do like this, right? Three, three. And do we want to go lower? Should we dig lower? Have it go down like, like this? Let's see if it looks okay. We are getting a lot of stuff done down here in the base. I'm really liking it. I mean, all of these little corridors and stuff, they're really starting to come together. And they're not looking, uh, things aren't looking monotonous. So I'm really happy about that. Like this, this hallway right here is probably my favorite so far. I really like, you know, the dark oak. And then you look way down there and you see like another doorway and it just keeps going. And then there's a the lava thingy. Um, yeah, so things are looking cool back here. I actually, I liked this corridor as well. Uh, definitely like seeing the, uh, the armor stand back there. Uh, let's see. So if I put that there, um, I should, well, yeah. Uh, I don't have anything to enchant, but that should work, right? And then, um, let's see. What should I put underneath here? 
Should I keep it dark? Or should I use... I'm really loving these chiseled stone blocks. These things are awesome. So that's looking good. Uh, then we want a spot for our anvil. Uh, that's how I kind of had it before, right? I think so. Really like down there. Okay, so that's useful, and I need... <laughs> I need... I should probably just splurge and make another crafting table. Um, what was I looking for? Some dark stairs, right? All right, we'll finish that off. Um, so for the cow and sheep farm, I need to look into it. And, uh, but... We're going to prepare a little bit. I know what I could do. These two blocks were looking out of place, so I will put those there. So now we've got some crafting over here. Uh, I want to put some lava walls back here too, but uh, I want them. I want to make sure they're far enough away so my bookshelves don't burn. All right, it's time to move some of these animals out of here. Um, how can I do this? Make sure they don't get away. There. I can start with that so that if they... Of course, they're going to run right in there and go kill themselves too, right? So, okay. So now we're safe. Or the animals are safe. So let's grab as many cows as we can. Uh, do I have that cow? Grab you. Come on, cows. What the heck? Out here, cows. Out here. Come on. Don't. Don't keep. There we go. Alright, are they going to be a pain to get in here, too? Because they never want to go through a single block. These leads are a little derpy. Alright, so it looks like, looks like that's all we've got at the moment. How do I get all my leads back? You derps. Get my leads back, derps! Okay, I'm missing. Okay, you're going to become food. Yeah, you don't, you don't leave. You don't leave when I'm trying to. You're going in the sheep farm. All right, here's some of my other leads. Okay, so we've got our 14 leads back. Okay, and one more cow over here. Get back here. I think that's all of them. Is that all of them? Okay. I could just lead them all around with, with uh, wheat or something, but... Uh. All right, we're back uh, for some reason. Had a little crash. Little little job. Whoa. Wait, what the heck? Why? Oh, these guys are going to die. This, this is... Why is this so difficult? Why? Why? And you keep losing your lead. Why? Why can't this is like boats? And you keep going in the sheep farm. I mean, seriously. All right, come on. And they can't fit in. And they'll never. They'll always squeeze each other through the door and then block each other because you know they're derps. Ah, uh, this is like boats. And you're not leaving. You're you're coming over here. All right. So now I'm gonna close the door and then I'll get my leads back. So what is everybody doing? Uh, is it like school finals time yet or what? Um. Uh, no, it's just turned to be, it's May now, right? So yeah, you've got a little time, maybe a couple weeks. You're probably already kind of wrapping things up, though. or getting ready to study for finals. Those of you who are, whoa, I'm, I'm losing my sheep. I only have three left. I need to start breeding these clowns. Uh, oh, yeah, so we're going to build a wheat farm in here, too. Uh, and maybe some carrots and stuff, but did we lose one already? Yeah, you get in here. You you miss your friends. You want to come in here. It's a great place. It's a great... No, no. You're just trying to follow me around? Do you love me? Is that is that who you were following? You weren't following your friends? It was me? Ah, that's so sweet. All right. I'm going to eat you later. You're going to be tasty. Lamb chops. All right. So... Uh, we can get all this stuff back now. And um, so for the farms, let's see. How do we need to prepare for the farms? I think I want to do one that... This might take a little time to build, actually. Is this what I want to do? Oh, I, ne I never did this wall. Um, you know the farms where uh, you have a bunch of them kind of yeah i guess i guess that's how tango's farm works at, at hermit hills uh, i haven't really taken a look at it but 
So if we if we create uh, some confined areas where all these cows are and have them, you know, floating in water. They don't have to be in a one by one block area. Uh, we can have them, we can have them in a canal. And if we breed them, we can have the little babies, you know, go through a little hole because they're only one block and they'll fit through. And these guys won't fit through because they're two blocks. And we'll send all the babies to some kind of landing area where they can grow up. And then we'll, you know, We'll kill them with uh, not TNT or anything, but we'll we'll kill them with uh, fire aspect or you know whatever whatever we have to do, uh, and we can do the same thing for the sheep over here. So we can have two kind of symmetrical farms. Uh, they'll just be different animals, but um, yeah, I'll have to look into that. But I think those are the kind of farms that I want to build. Uh, Take gravel out. Um, so yeah, that is what I think I want to do. Um, right now, I'm just going to finish up these walls and everything. Uh, did I do anything special here? Nope, just a couple of those things. Uh, so, oh, in here I'm probably... Probably not going to keep these walls. These, this will probably be dug out over here uh, for some kind of automatic wheat farm. Maybe I'll put, um, I could put like a carrot farm or something over here. So I'll dig this out just so I remember, hey, I still have something to build. So I don't think I'm done with this area. So we'll leave that stuff out. Leave like a big hole in there so we remember we have to do something. So yeah, this area is coming together really nicely. All right, now things are looking better. Uh, I've cleaned up the area a little bit and put in uh, this other stuff over here. Um, redid the floor and the ceiling a little bit to just kind of clean it up. And just in time, my fortune pickaxe is really kind of running low. So why don't we use our little enchanting table? And I should... Let's see, I wonder if I can repair it with this pickaxe at all. I don't think that will work because um, it's pretty much empty anyway. So, oh, we're not enchanting. Let's see. Um, well, if this, oh, that's my Fortune 3. Definitely don't want to mess with that one. Uh, will this help at all? Yeah, too expensive. That doesn't do anything. Uh, I could add 3, so 34. Uh, I really should just make a new pickaxe because 34 XP, if it doesn't turn out, you know, I don't know, why not just make a new one, right? Uh, I mean, I guess there's a chance I could get something worse than Fortune 2, but, you know, I don't know. If it is horrible, I can always uh, combine it because I have all this XP. And if we're planning on dying soon to get our heads, or if Biffa or somebody else is going to come kill us, then, um, you know, hey, it, oh, we need, uh, what do we need? Some uh, lapis, right? And I need to just start planting these ender chests somewhere, like, everywhere, because I put this one so far away that now it feels like I'm running miles just to go... Um, Where's where's my new pickaxe? Where's my brand new pickaxe? There it is. Jeez. <laughs> Man, I'm losing it. I swear. What the heck. All right, now we're back in action. So we've got that. We've got that. Fortune three. Very nice. Oh, that's it. <laughs> oh my god. Fortune three with nothing else. Okay, well, maybe if I combine uh, if I combine this with that, let's see. So there's the Fortune 2. Uh, where's my Fortune? There's my new Fortune 3. That's too expensive. Uh, that's too expensive also. So you know what? It does turn out that I'm just going to repair this one. Use, what it, was it, 34 XP though? I mean... I may as well just make another pickaxe and enchant it for 3 XP. 
I mean, it doesn't really matter, but 34 XP. So that's uh, that's part of the new uh, enchanting rules, I guess, that they put in where the more you enchant something, the more expensive it becomes each time. And there's only so many times you can enchant something or repair something. Uh, so what I need to, let's see, what am I going to do? So we're going to take this, repair it. 34 XP. That's ridiculous. But you know what? If we weren't going to be dying soon, I probably wouldn't have done that. I probably would have just used three diamonds to make a new pickaxe and enchant that for three XP. But since we're going to be dying, it doesn't matter. Um, and plus, you know, we have, man, I wish I could get fortune four. Fortune 3 unbreaking. Nope. Fortune 3 unbreaking. Uh, do I not have... Uh, oh, there's no efficiency on that one. Yeah, there isn't. So how much... Yeah, that's just too expensive. Anyway. All right, you guys get the picture. So this is my new... I don't know what I'm going to use this for. Just nothing. I already have a Fortune 3 unbreaking. Uh, so, yeah... All right, and the silk touch I have, which I just realized I put in that chest, I have no idea why, uh, is actually only iron, so I still need, like, a real diamond uh, silk touch. I should probably, I mean, I have, how many diamonds do I have? I've got 19 blocks. I mean, I, I can definitely uh, spare some diamonds to try to get silk touch, but, you know, um, I don't use Silk Touch that often, so it's not like I really need it. Uh, I've just been using my Fortune pickaxes to do my normal mining, and uh, that's always good when you find redstone, that kind of stuff. So um, so that is that. Uh, I think I what I will do between now and next episode, um, I will start working on getting ready for the smelting. I'll probably move the, the furnaces and stuff over here. Um, we need to, um, I'll prep things for the farm. Why don't I do that? So next time I think we'll probably build the actual farms and maybe I'll get rid of this eyesore right here between now and next episode because it really blocks the view all the way across. And since this area is starting to look really cool, um, you know, this thing is just kind of blocking all of the views in between everything. So uh, once I have the ceiling and the floors done nicely, uh, this thing is definitely going to have to go, I think. But uh, it was fun. It was fun using it while we had it. And, um, yeah, so that is that. Uh, well, that is it for now. Um, I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to go back and watch any uh, other videos that you might have missed. And we will see you next time.